guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of our bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you have not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday I go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide whether I want to add anything to my wishlist or if everything is a total washout. I actually haven't really been following up on new releases recently, so a lot of this is going to be really actual first impressions from me, so I'm pretty excited. But before we jump in, let's talk about some updates. First of all, if you're looking for my thoughts on the Kat Von D rebranding the name on the whole Marlena Estelle and Makeup Geek situation, I decided to start kind of a a series-ish on my channel called Bochinche Chat. So that's where I'm gonna go to just rant about whatever I want to rant about. From My Chemical Romance tickets to Marlena Stella and Makeup Geek drama. It was a live stream that I did this past Sunday, so if you missed it, I will throw that up in the cards. But if you're looking for my thoughts on kind of topics like that, check that out. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you're notified when I go live so you can jump into one of my always fun live streams because I am trying my best to do those more often and about teen chai chats like that they're always going to be live streams. So some updates. The first update I have is the foundation that I'm wearing. It did oxidize throughout the day but I did get reshade matched at MAC and back when I first put this on it is a perfect shade match so I don't know if it's just the formula oxidizing or whatever but I did get shade matched to an NW13. <laughs> I am working on changing all of my description boxes because if you don't know, I do keep like my closest shade match, all the descriptive things about my face, my hair in my description box so people can easily see like what skin tone I am, what kind of skin I have, the my hair type, you know, all that is down in the description box. So I'm going to be updating all the description boxes recently because NW13 is very far away from an NC25, which is what I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> and like the woman at MAC was like shocked that I was I used to be an NC25 but like I just don't go outside anymore guys I don't know what to tell you other than that I am in full swing doing research for the can you guess it what the next best and worst lipstick shade is gonna be yeah it's green it's, it's green I'm wearing green so I am doing research I am pur purchasing some products for the green lipstick video I would like to get it up someone suggested I do it right around uh, St. Patty's Day which would be awesome so I'm trying to purchase a few more I already own like five um two of which I'm wearing right now and I want to purchase a few more so if you have any green lipstick suggestions please throw them in the comments down below now one of the lipsticks is one that I'm wearing that I just recently purchased uh, I asked on my Instagram what everyone's recommendations for green lipsticks were and a lot of people reached out and said formerly Kat Von D, which is now Kindness Vegan Beauty Doing Good Beauty. I don't even know what the fuck it is, but from that brand. And I personally didn't want to purchase from the brand, but as of this point, Kat Von D no longer has any stock in it. There's, she, never, she gets nothing from the brand anymore, and a lot of people are now going back to it. So since there are already so few green lipsticks out there, and since apparently some of the best are from Kat Von D or KVD, I don't know what I'm gonna call it now, I did go into Sephora and purchase one of the lipsticks. So this is the Studded Kiss Cream Bullet Lipstick, which is what I'm wearing the majority of my lips today. And it actually is like the perfect shade that I'm kind of looking for in this green lipstick journey. So there's that. And then just to hype up the drama and to use as a lip liner, I put on the Jeffree Star Flora Liquid Lipstick in equality as my lip liner so i kind of outlined everything with the liquid lipstick and then i put the bullet lipstick on so keep an eye out for that video that's probably i'm gonna do my best to get it out around saint patrick's day and if you have any suggestions any green lipsticks you want to see let me know down below did i throw my airpods in so i can jam while i'm looking up makeup maybe so for now let's jump straight into trend mood i gotta figure out like where i left off last time Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Boop, boop. Okay, let's talk about, I don't think I mentioned this before, the official reveal and release of the Midas Cosmetics and Smoky Glow Palette Collab uh, Highlighter Duo, Lip Glosses, everything. So I was actually like set and ready to go by chance. I got the email that gave you the secret, secret, code to get into the um, website to do the pre-orders early. But then I found out it actually wasn't going to go live for like another hour. And so I didn't have time to sit and wait for that. Story of my life. I had this happen and then I had the My Chemical Romance ticket situation happen. Just like blah. So 
anyway, I didn't have time to be there right when it released and then like the minute it went live, I think like five minutes in, the PR box sold out. I think the palette sold out, uh, but it was just crazy. And so I wasn't able to get my hands like on anything. That being said, looking at the palette itself, I don't think I need it. I've got these shades, I'm not gonna reach for the palette. But what I wanted to get were the lip glosses, cause those are gorgeous, and the highlighter like duo set. So I'm not gonna be getting it now. They did say it's a permanent collection and that at any point, or they're going to keep producing it until like there's no more demand for it anymore. So I really respect that. And I like that they're upfront about it. So I've got time to get my hands on these. I don't have to rush out and do it right away. Hell, I could even change my mind. I don't know yet, but I know I now have the option. So I am going to wait until, I don't know, second restock, maybe even the third. So Natasha Denona dropped a new palette for Valentine's Day. And of course, like I guess it's Valentine's Day, I should be expecting this, but I am getting just like really heavy blood sugar vibes from this. Heavy. <laughs> and maybe it's just because I'm spending more time with it, I'm panning it, I'm wearing it on my eyes today, but I see this and I see blood sugar and I know I don't need it. And also I see that price tag and I really know I don't need it. It just seems like a bleh kind of palette. I like that they're, I don't know. I feel like Natasha, Natasha Denona is now at a point where they're releasing I guess at like a decent rate. They're not like ABH or ColourPop, but they're not also like never releasing anything. So I like the rate at, weight at which they're releasing things. I just so far haven't seen anything that's like blown my mind since like the Metropolis palette. I swear every time ColourPop comes out with a new collection, I swear it's something they've already released and I scroll past it until I look at it and then I see the caption released today and I'm like, huh. It's just like, I don't know, I feel like now whenever I see ColourPop, I just scroll, like immediately, just like, oh, just scroll it. I don't need it. I don't want it. Blah. The only things that I actually kind of want to still get from ColourPop are the Smoke Show palette, which used to be, oh uh, no, it's called Blowing Smoke now. I think it used to, okay, the black grazed whatever palette. I still kind of want that one. And I need to see if they have any green lipsticks, because I honestly, I don't know. And I'm still looking. I got to find some more green lipsticks. So that's like the only things I would want to buy. The other cookie cutter palettes they're just throwing out every week, I'm just, I'm not interested in. I'm just not. So Fenty is coming out with a setting spray. It is $30 though. Yo, the most I am willing to spend on a setting spray is MAC Fix Plus and that's like 20 to $24. And now I only buy it when it's on sale. So uh, there's no way in hell I would get the setting spray. Just being honest. And I think the lip glosses, they're coming out with some new lip glosses. Like everyone's losing their shit over the fact that they're coming out with like a clear lip gloss. I don't use lip gloss often enough. <laughs> Recently I've just been using chapstick because it's been so dry and I've been just so dry and like meh. So I've just been wearing a lot of chapstick and stuff. So I only put lipstick on like this when I'm filming. So I don't need that. So I gotta admit, I've been shitting on ABH and uh, Norvina for a bit, but I like this new mini palette. I don't need it, because I mean, I've got blood sugar, I've got blue blood, and I've got every other ABH palette, so I don't need this. But I actually like it. I like the composition. I like the shades. I like how different it is. It's cute. And I think they should be doing more stuff like that, but hopefully we won't see anything until like the holidays. Okay, so these MAC lipsticks, I know I don't need them, but they're like literally the cutest things I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. It's apparently a collab with Cacao Friends. I don't know what they are. They look kind of like Sanrio characters, but they're so cute. <laughs> I don't even know what the shades are, but this is so cute. I want at least like one of the little bullets. Oh, also, if anyone releases like a Gretzko themed makeup, I am all over that shit. All right, another Natasha Denona release. This is the Love Face, the Love Glow Facer Cheek Palette. It's $55. I gotta admit, I was attracted to it. I love the packaging, even though it's like Claire's makeup five-year-old packaging. It cute. I just don't think I would ever use a cream blush. I don't even really like using blushes enough. And I hate cream products. I know I would never touch that, so I need to just not go for it. I'm, I'm never gonna use it, so definitely not worth it. Well, I lied. We did see the shades from that Cacao Friends and MAC collab, but they're all red. As much as I love a good red lipstick, I thought they would be different. 
And just, uh, man, I take it back. I just want the packaging. I don't want the lipstick. <laughs> Oh, so Smashbox is collabing, I guess, with the new Birds of Prey Harley Quinn movie. And for a Harley Quinn makeup, this lipstick is disappointing. That's all you're going to come out with? Come on. It's Harley Quinn. Don't be cowards. Release a red and green makeup line, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Okay, so uh, Disney collabed with Maybelline for a Lunar New Year co collection. And while I have to say, I like the fact that they actually went through the trouble to create new products because I hated the fact that they were just repackaging regular products and calling them Lunar New Year. There are new products. It's like an all shimmer little palette. It's like a mascara. It's a liner. It's a brow product. It's cute. I like the packaging, but I don't need it. Actually, I really like the lipstick packaging. That is gorgeous. Oh, good thing because it's an Asia exclusive anyway, so I wouldn't even be able to get it if I wanted it. You know what? Okay, so Jeffree Star comes out with these mystery boxes like every other month. Apparently he just shits them out of nowhere. I've watched enough videos because I'm curious to see what you get in them. Everyone, like even the hardcore Jeffree stands, hate the mystery boxes. You just get like shit. You get old product. You get bad product. You get what nobody wants to buy. They just throw them in the boxes, which is like genius marketing. But like why do people fall for it? Don't buy these. <laughs> just don't. Especially when the Supreme is going to run you almost $150 for shit products. Come on. This actually looks really cute. Damn it. I kind of really want this. Ugh. Etude House is collabing with Hershey's for some palettes. And I really like the chocolate bar palette. That looks adorable. I like the shades. I like how it looks. And uh, what else is here? I think there's a white chocolate bar palette. Yeah, so there's a lot. Oh, I like that one. Damn it. They're neutral, but they're interesting neutrals, and I really want them. I hope they're not scented. Oh, I like that. They're so cute. Damn it. How much are they? How much are you? The full collection is $66. Okay. Two palettes and two lipsticks is $58. Okay, that's pushing it. Can I buy them individually? I just want the palettes, man. I don't know if you can get just the palettes, but I actually, I really like the look of the palettes. Ooh, I gotta say, I don't know a lot about Kiko Milano. I haven't used any Kiko Milano, but these products look bomb. Maybe not the eyeshadow palette, but like the face palette, the face powders. Oh, they're gorgeous. And they're affordable. They're between, what, 10 or 9 and like $25 each. I don't even know where you can get Kiko Milano. Is that uh, Ulta? I don't know, but they're really cute. I don't think I would get anything, but that's really cute. If you've tried Kiko Milano, let me know down below on what you think about them. Huh. So after, uh, well, I just honked. I don't know what that was. So after doing some bullshittery, Too Faced is releasing some new products. They've got a highlighter palette and they've got this eyeshadow palette that is just, poof. And these swatches look photoshopped. Those don't look like real swatches. Yeah, not gonna get it. If you're looking for a good neutral palette, because I know some people have been saying like they really want nice neutral palettes and that's what Too Faced is known for, uh, check out Milani. Milani has awesome neutral palettes. And um, is it Jouer? Oh, what is the Soiree Diaries? Whoever, Pure. Pure made the Soiree, Soiree, I can't. I think too hard about it, I can't say it. The Soiree Diaries palette. That is one of the best neutral palettes I've ever used. Ever. Hands down. Try those instead. So Hourglass kind of listened and then didn't listen. They came out with a variety of palettes for their uh, ambient lighting palettes, which is great. You want options. But they didn't expand their shades. Like I, Looking at like the deepest shades in here, there still aren't any that are going to work for deeper skin tones, which is unacceptable. Especially you're coming out with four you're coming out with four palettes, all of which I could use. And you see me, I am Casper. It took me ten minutes to get my camera set up because when I film at night, I am so pale, I ruin the entire frame. And I can use every single one of these palettes. Hourglass needs to do better. I love a lot of their products. But come on, guys. Just, you've got the money. Ugh. Okay. So, something 
that I know I don't like looking at these shades I know I don't need them but I want this this is from makeup a murder cosmetics and this is the partner in crime palette and oh my god do I want it damn it I love this whole brand honestly like it's my aesthetic to a T love it uh, I've got the shades but god damn it do I want this palette and they've got these shade names like bad boys wanted cuff me accomplice ride or die like I, I need this palette I need, I need this stupid palette damn it but oh I love it Oh, so I might have just not been on this planet, but I didn't even know Ofra had sparkly liquid shadows. Apparently they do. They're only 15 bucks. That's pretty affordable. That's not too much off from all the CoverGirl ones that I have. So I guess these are new shades. So they've got a champagne, a bronze, a gold, and a rose gold. Do I need these? Absolutely not. But I am curious. Guerlain just came out with some new primers. And they are $53 each. Yikes on trikes. Yikes on trikes. Okay, so I have never tried this brand. I know their eyeshadow base or primer is like famous, but P. Louise is coming out with a palette for the Valentine's collection. And while the shades are nothing new, they literally just look like Modern Renaissance and Blood Sugar, the packaging, look at this. It looks like a little letter. Or like a, a clutch bag and it's so cute damn it it is adorable oh I love that I'm not gonna buy it but oh is that not good product design Mwah. okay another Valentine's palette from Viseart don't need it I really don't recommend Viseart shadows I found better shadows at the drugstore wet and wild the best wet and wild palettes are better than Viseart which should not happen when these Vizier palettes are $80. Just saying. And I will say this again, another Physicians Formula collab where we just get a box. But this box is so odd. Like I don't like the shades that are picked out. I think the flower imprints are really cute, but like this is not it. And the swatches look so strange when they're all put together. Like. What are you supposed to do with that? So Urban Decay is finally going back to their colorful roots and releasing a palette for Valentine's Day. And this is called the Wired palette. Mm, I think it's kind of cute. I don't need it and I don't like what they chose to be shimmers. It's like half shimmers, half mattes, but I don't like the shades that they pick to be shimmers. I don't need it and I'm not going to get it, but I like the way that Urban Decay is now going. Because I feel like for a while they were stuck in like the the naked rut. <laughs> but I think this is a better direction to be going. Yo, I gotta say, I was actually kind of really intrigued by this palette. This is from Melt. And this is called the Millennial Pink Palette. And I have to say, I actually really like that you've got like the smoky side with a black and a, a silver, a gunmetal silver, and then you've got like the pinky kind of side. You don't really see those shadows together much or often. I know I have these shades in my collection, but I really like the palette. Man, I don't need it, but like I was, I'm tempted. And if it comes to like Sephora, it is coming to Sephora, I, I might get it. I don't know yet. So the last product I'm going to talk about today is from BH Cosmetics and apparently they came out with these, uh, what are they called? They are little blush palettes and they're called the Yummy Truffles, I think. Yeah, the Truffle Blush Collection includes nine palettes. Each one has four shades, shimmery and matte finishes, $12. So that's a great like range for shades right off the bat. It's a great price point. I don't think I'm getting a good idea of the size because for a blush I'm expecting it to be bigger. These kind of look like eyeshadows but I don't know how they look like in person. They're really cute and I'd be tempted to pick up one of them. I know I don't need blushes. I've got blushes but these are cute. I like how shade inclusive they are. I think it's a good idea. Oh so something I actually shared on my Instagram story. So this is a brand I've never heard of before. This is called Suavetica. Suavecita. I'm gonna say Suavecita. Suavecita and Bride of Frankenstein. Ooh, so they've got lipsticks and I saw right off the bat they've got a deep green lipstick 
and I love the aesthetic of this. So this is a brand I'm going to be looking into. I've never tried it. I've never heard of them before this. But oh, does this look cute. Cute. The only downside is I think you can only buy these in bundles. I gotta look into it. So, I'll look into it, but it looks cute and I love the aesthetic. I'm just doing one last check because inevitably every single time I film one of these and then turn the camera off, something new and big gets revealed and then it's just... I do it after credits, but I think right now we're good. So that is everything for this edition of the Be Wow. Let me know down below what you thought of these products, if you're interested in any, and if you have any green lipstick recommendations, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.